Hello everyone, t -Dub here, TW Gaming. I just put up a video of me playing Daytona. I thought I'd better show you my setup. So this is my setup, I've got a plasma TV. Down there I have a HP Pavilion with AMD APU. I don't know the specifics, but I'll tell you what, it's not that great, but this game runs all right except for the draw distance, I think. I want to show you my setup and I'll prove to you that it works. So this is my Thrustmaster TX Leather Edition wheel. You can see it's got the four buttons here two buttons there, it's got the, what they call the Manatino on the Ferrari wheels and it's got a press button there, D-pad etc. TH-8A shifter, um, you know, it's a great shifter, only thing is I'll probably have to make a plate for Daytona, but um, if I was going to make a plate I'd probably suggest using 3, 4, 5 and 6 in the middle of the plate rather than 1, 2, 3 and 4 because there is a lot of resistance to get back to first gear, which is what you want on a road car up and down is 3 and 4 but and you go one and two that way, um, but if I make a plate I'll probably end up doing something like that to get a bit more realistic feel, like the Seegers, I think they tend to favour one and two still, or whatever, but anyway, I've also got the T3 PA Pro, I think they're called pedals, um, I'm not sure if that's actually what they're called, I've got a clutch not used for Daytona, brake and throttle down there, I uh, tried to do the inverted thing, didn't work with my cockpit, so next level GT Ultimate. What I wanted to show you is how I've got the wheel and stuff mapped, so that's just uh, connected via USB to the computer. Same with the shifter, you need the, sp the uh, extra cable with the mini DIN, that came with mine at least. Uh, my VR buttons are these four, just in whatever order they are. I think this is my coin button, the purple one, yep, and the start button would be that. Uh, I've got this set as my test switch, so we go into our test mode there. And I can use the, uh, it's hard to get a view of both, but I can use the VR buttons to do all that crazy good stuff. Um, and yeah, so basically what I might do is, um, you've already seen the gameplay, but what I had to do was when I set up the wheel, I installed all the Thrustmaster drivers. Um, I've then changed it to 270, as you can see, 270 degrees to get a bit more of an arcade feel. Um, the force feedback is really responsive in this game, which I quite like, which is what you want from Daytona because that was the experience in the arcade force feedback. Um, the pedals, I'm not certain I'm thrilled with the way they work. I probably need to tweak them a bit, but especially the brake pedal, doing some brake drifting and some um, stuff like that becomes a bit difficult because I have my brake pedal set fairly firm. I've got the conical mod on this for the Thrustmaster stuff. Throttle works as you'd expect, nice, nice and easy. Uh, the force feedback is really good on this wheel, in general, and it's really good in Model 2 emulator. Uh, as I said in the description, you have to invert the pedals in the Nebula config, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that, show you that now. Uh, so we'll go to emulator, sorry about the uh, resolution guys. Configure controls, so what I had to do was I came up here, and that's what I've got. So make sure you've got the analog controls checked there. I have the analog Joy 1 is my Thrustmaster wheel, X-axis is fine for steering, the throttle and the Y-axis is the accelerator and brake obviously, they need to be inverted and you can see all my shifts, Joy 2 is my TH-8A shifter, so I put those buttons in, uh, you don't want it in analog mode, shift neutral I left as something, I can't even remember what I put, the VR buttons are those that I've shown you, same with the start and the coin got my test switch on the Manatino press and the rest of it I don't really use service service I'm going to go ahead and map to the left paddle shifter because what I've done in Supermodel for Daytona 2 but yeah um, honestly it's one of the best experiences that Tony you'll get at home get yourself a force feedback wheel if you can um, it makes it so much so much more authentic and it's just it's so good to have a real arcade realistic experience at home, force feedback shifter. It's uh, it's a lot better than you'll ever get on a gamepad, even a high-end one. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the video, click like, and uh, check out my other one where I really badly do a beginner track in the manual with the setup. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.